Hello, and welcome to Philobon's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called Routing and Remote Access Site to Site VPN. In this scenario, I have a Cisco router which will represent the internet connecting two VPN servers together. So the VPN servers are not directly connected to each other but must go through the router in order to talk with one another. The goal of this video is to get the two VPN servers to create a VPN tunnel in which they could transmit and receive information from their internal networks in an encrypted fashion. Here we are on the VPN server for Site 1 called Site 1 VPN. Let's open up the Routing and Remote Access. I'll right click it and choose to configure the server. I'm going to choose to make it a custom VPN. I'm going to make it a demand dial connection. Now I need to start a service. There, we set up the main part of the routing and remote access. Now I need to create the demand dialer. Look at the interfaces that we have now. I'm going to add another one to it. I'm going to give this interface the name Site 1. I want it to be a VPN dialer. I'm going to use point to point tunneling protocol because these other two at the bottom require server certificates. And I want to make this example as simple as possible. I'm going to put in the IP address of the Site 2 VPN server. I have to put a checkbox here because I want to be able to choose the name and password that I will be using on both this VPN server and the one I want this VPN server to use for the Site 2 VPN server. Now I need to create the static routes that will activate the VPN server. Now I have to create the password for Site 1. Now I have to create the username that Site 2 will be using and also the password they will be using. It has to be identical to the one in Site 2 or the VPN connection will not occur. So we can see that a new interface has been connected and it is currently disconnected. Okay, now we're on the server on Site 2. We need to configure it also in order to create the VPN connection. Since we already went through this exact configuration in Site 1, I will go through quickly through this example. Now to set up the demand dialer. I'll put in the name as Site 2. I want a VPN connection. I will be using point-to-point -point tunneling protocol. And now we're going to put the IP address of Site 1. We have to put a checkbox in order for it to access what username password we want. And now I'm going to put the networks of Site 1 here so that Site 2 will know when to use the VPN. These will be static IP routes.
Now I need to put in the password I want to use for this VPN interface. And next I'll put in the username password that I want to use for Site1's interface. Okay, we can see that the VPN interface has appeared. I'm going to go into the properties in order to make the connection persistent. The default is that after five minutes of idle time, it will disconnect. I'm going to make it so that it stays connected. Okay, let me start the connection. Here we can see that Site 1 and Site 2 are connected. Let me try pinging the interface inside of the LAN of Site 1. The pings are successful. In this video, we saw how to create site-to-site -site VPNs which are useful for connecting corporations who have branches all over the world. I hope this video has been informative and I thank you for viewing.